It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Donald and Douglas are Scottish twins. They enjoy working on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. But sometimes they long for Scotland, their old home. One day, Sir Topham Hatt called them to the docks. Lord Callan's castle is finally reopening. There is to be a grand celebration tomorrow. I need you to take the banners, bunting and bagpipes to the castle. Harvey, you must load them straight away. Yes, sir, chuffed Harvey. The twins were excited. Going to Lord Callan's castle would be like going home again. Soon, Harvey had finished loading the freight. Where are you going? asked Percy. Lord Callan's castle, Donald proudly announced. By Castle Lock. I'm glad I'm not going to Castle Lock, wished Percy nervously. Scared the monster might get you, teased Douglas. He might, said Donald. There's no monster. There is too. There is not. He's too. He's not. He's too. Lord Cannon's castle is in Misty Valley. Donald and Douglas were determined to get the important goods to the castle in time. They puffed proudly around the lock towards their destination. There it is, cried Donald. We're almost there, shouted Douglas. But there was trouble ahead. Trees had fallen across the line. Donald and Douglas stopped just in time. Then, suddenly, there was a loud crash. The brake van had been hit by a landslide and come off the rails. They were stuck. We could take the causeway, said Donald's driver. Douglas's driver knew the causeway was old and rickety. It's too dangerous, he said. The twins were worried. We'll never get to the castle now, chuffed Donald. I'll call for help. Splendid outfit, sir. So Topham Hatt was trying on his present from Lord Callan when he heard the news. Donald and Douglas trapped by the lock, he said. I'll send help as soon as I can. But the hours passed. It grew dark and cold. And still no help had come. Suddenly the twins spotted something strange through the mist. What's that? called Donald. Is it the monster? cried Douglas. For sure it is, answered Donald. It's not a monster, it's us. It was Harvey and the breakdown crane. Donald and Douglas were relieved. By morning, the lines were clear. Donald and Douglas hurried off to the castle. Lord Callan's workers were waiting to unload the freight cars. Soon the castle was decorated. The grand opening was a great success. Lord Callan was pleased. A splendid pair of engines! And very useful, added Sir Topham Hatt. Oh, hey! agreed the twins. <laughs>